hello everyone today we are going to see uh, how to use online assessment tools so let me share my screen with you before uh, starting with the online assessment tool let us quickly uh, recall what is online assessment online assessment is uh, the use of ict to create manage deliver assess and provide immediate feedback to the students so using these online assessment tools we can create we can manage the assessment we can deliver the assessment we can assess the students work and then provide them with the immediate feedback so it doesn't take time it can be uh, set uh, it can be set in such a way so that the students can be given immediate feedbacks there are various ways to do the online assessment we can make them do the test we can do the quizzes so today we are going to explore an app using which we will be uh, testing or doing an online assessment near call app this is an online application uh, using which we can assess the students so directly the students can uh, join using the code that we sent them the teachers can sign up for free so we did not we need not pay any money or uh, any kind of uh, subscription to this particular application for using it and then there are uh, it is for administrators also so a school particularly can join into this and they can administer the things into it Okay, so the, this is the app that we are going to explore today. For uh, moving into this app, let us see how we have to uh, log in into it and then create our material. So first uh, we have to go to the uh, Google page and type in the search near for when you type this is the window that opens up so make every lesson interactive near for students so if you are giving the link to the students you want them to uh, access it they need not sign up they can directly go uh, access the uh, quiz or access the content using the link as a teacher since we have to create it we will be logging in so when you click on this login uh, this Okay, now I had already signed up into this so the window opened directly so if you do not uh, sign up there will be a separate page opening up okay so you have to log into it let's see uh, how does that happen yes this is the page that will open up when you click on login so as you can see here sign up for free login okay so if you are a new user you will have to click on this and you will have to sign up. So this is the way you have to sign up into this particular application. You will have to type your name, last name, school email or your personal email ID. And then you will have to agree to the code and condition and directly you can sign up. If the students are there, they can directly enter the lesson code and they may join in here. Now since I have already uh, opened an account for me, so I will be directly logging into that account. So I will type my mail id and my password. When I enter my details, this is the page that opens up first. So as you can see, I have already created a lot of contents into it while exploring this particular uh, application. So these are the contents that are uh, being created by, by me. But if you open it for the first time, this is the only uh, one that will show up. The others will not be showing it up. Okay? So this is the only one that will show up. So as a new user, if you have to create a new one, do you see this uh, plus sign on the top right corner? So you have to click on this. There are options for quick launch as well, where uh, you can directly uh, create the contents and directly you can quick launch it. So since we are going to create now, I'll click on this new and then lessons in near pod. 
So when I click onto it, uh, this is the page that opens up, which will help me to create my own online assessment. So here, if you see in this application, every assessment or every lessons that we create, they are created in the form of slides. So to create an online assessment using this application also, I need to uh, you make use of this uh, slide template. So I'll be clicking on this. So when I click on it, there's a new window opening up or a window popping up. It says content and activities. The content, this is for when you are designing your lesson. So if you are using a video or you are using a slide. So these are the things which you may use when you are actually designing your lesson. Now, since we are going to do assessment, so I'll be making use of this activities. So when I click on this activities, you may see there are a lot of things opening up. Okay. So today we'll be exploring the filling the blanks, making use of Nearpod application. When I click on this filling the blanks, this page opens up. So usually what a teacher does is she has to put dashes, she has to write the sentences and all those things. For online assessment using Nearpod, what you can do is whatever text you have, whatever passages you have or the sentences you have, you can directly paste it here and uh, let's see. So these are the things that we have to paste. So I can change my uh, design as per my requirement. So I'll keep it, keep it blue. And now I have to um, copy the text. So I've already uh, kept it in my desktop. So I'll be opening that. I have uh, already prepared the text that I want to be copied. So I'm copying the text which I have prepared. I have copied the text. Now I'll be pasting it here. So if you see, I have pasted the text which uh, I want to uh, test my students on. So this is the text. It's on geography, the rocks and types of rocks topic. Okay. So class sixth. So this is the text I want my students to uh, test on. So I have uh, copied the text. Now what I have to do is I have to click on this next part. So when I click on the next, this window will open up. So what now I have to do is I have to uh, select words from here where at the place where I want it to be blank. So the earth, earth's crust is hard. So when I, I want a blank at this place, so I'm clicking on it. So the hard goes on this side. Okay. It is made of rocks and soil. Rocks are found on land surfaces and also below it. They are a mixture of different minerals formed by natural process. So if I want a blank at the place of minerals, I have clicked on it. Uh, natural processes in the lithosphere. The properties of rocks depend on the constituents of minerals and their proportion as well as on the formation process. Yeah, silica, aluminium, magnesium and iron are the major rock forming minerals. So if I want blank at this places, I may just click on it and my work is done. So that, that a, bl a blank gets filled up. So there are other minerals. So these are the things. There are three types of rocks according to their formation. Okay, so here are the place I want. When a molten material, it, could, so it gives to dash kind of rock. Okay. Similarly, the next one, due to continuous variation in the temperature, rocks develops, cracks. I, have, I want a blank there. And this, was, this leads to the weathering of rocks. They get disintegrated or decomposed. That is, they get reduced into pieces. Uh, these rock particles get transported by person low lying at different one after the other layers of sediments uh, gets deposited into it. So, of dash gets deposited. So this is the blanks that I have uh, created in this particular passage and then my work is done. I just have to click on done. So my filling the blank is successfully added.
now when i click on create it will ask me to title the lesson so i can title it as um, fill in the blanks on box and its types i may write your geography class 6 so class 6 i can choose the grade from here as well and then subject i may mean, choose as social studies or geography okay. so now i just have to save it and exit so this content that i have created will now be saved in my library if you see this is my library part here uh, the content will be saved so this is the thing that i have created see the date it appears along with the date that is september 30 2020 okay so now how do i share it with my students so do you see these options live participation plus zoom i have never tried it so you can try it once the second one is live participation if it is a live class going on i can and give the link or give the access to the students through this and the students will be able to participate it live okay so for example if i click on live participation a new window opens up it will take a few time in the new window it will ask me to share the link with the students so this is the code either i share this code with the students and the students will be able to enter this code at the students code entry directly or i may share the link with the students by sharing the link they will be able to access the content easily so for now i'll set it up as yeah this is the link that is being there so that goes for live participation so when i am doing a live participation the students will be able to get this particular code they will be able to enter the code and they will be able to access the uh, online assessment The second thing that we can do in that particular thing is uh, we may give keep it as student paced so we can give some time for students like for one day or a day or two ask the students to prepare the contents and then we may ask them to uh, attempt this particular quiz so again how we can do that so we have to just set it into student paced Yes, uh, so I was talking about the Nearpod application. Just one second, it will take a bit time to load. So here we saw about the live participation. Similarly, I can set it as a students paste also. Student paste, the students will be able to attempt it at their own pace, at their home at any time from anywhere. Okay. So that is the options which we can share with the students. If we want to preview how my content has been prepared, so I'll just click on the preview section and this is how it will look to the students. you see uh, you see the places where the blocks are there right so filling the blanks we had a set of filling the blanks so this is how it looks. the earth's crust is so these are the options so i just have to drag the options at the proper place so the earth's crust is hard it is made of rocks and soil rocks are found this is how the students will be solving it so the rocks are found on the land surfaces and also below it rocks are a mixture of different dash so different minerals is the correct answer 
it will fit in by natural processes properties of rocks depend on, uh, on dash dash and dash are the major uh, components so i may fill in silica magnesium iron etc and then the students have to access the other others these are known as first one was uh, igneous rocks rock develops cracks and uh, the other layers get sediments get deposited now the student may click uh, done now if you see there, why there are two wrongs so this is one of the drawback which it has that is uh, the order in which it was uh, cropped it is not arranged in the same order like for example uh, the first one was silica then aluminium then magnesium then iron but i exchanged the contents here and there that's why it is showing me a uh, seven out of nine. So as you can see, this is a uh, computer based. This is a complete machine based test. So it will go with the specifications. But then, as a teacher, we, when we assess it, we can uh, give marks to them. So I'll just close. So at this place, it showed wrong. This place is so the silica was first. The aluminium had to be second, as per the textbook content or as per I had set it. So those things are acceptable here. So this is how it will look. Uh, to see some uh, some of the earlier ones which I had uh, created. So let's uh, see through some of the earlier ones. So these are the ones that I had already created. Now, uh, when the students give their answers, how will I check where the students have replied to their answers? So I can see in the reports part. If you click on this uh, report on the left hand corner, all the activities that you have created that will show up and uh, the students that have attempted it. So I have uh, I have not uh, conducted this particular fill in the blanks for the students. But then suppose, for example, uh, I have given this uh, trial on near call. OK, so let me see this. So this is one of the things that shows okay so for i had uh, checked on time to climb and this is how the report looks so how many students have participated okay what are their responses so i just have to click on the summary part and the summary will open up what answers the students had given yes so students overall data how many students attempted it how many points they scored questions so number of questions and what responses have got so 13 students have given correct answer four students have given wrong answer and some of them have not at all uh, 13 percentage of students have given correct answer and so on okay so this is how uh, the application works So today uh, we saw a video lesson on the mail pod application if you click i'll quickly revise click on plus new to add a new content lessons in mail pod you will see a new window opening up which says to add slide when you click on this add slide there are a lot of contents available so if you want to create a lesson Using that, you can use the content part. If you want to create activities, click on the activities and then you have to create activities. We saw how to do fill in the blanks today using the Nearpod application for um, online assessment tool. Similarly, uh, you will be able to create a lot more online assessment using this Nearpod application. There are many others uh, such available on the internet like quiz quizzes or um, kahoot application so you may explore them and uh, make your teaching more effective thank you so much